Uh, just talk about Valpo, biggest challenges uh, it, they pose and what you can do to overcome them. Um, sure. I, I think they're they're playing really well inside right now. Um, I think we are as well, so I think we're going to kind of go head-to-head -head and go at it a little bit with our post game. Um, I think Valpo runs a lot of plays, and I think our, our challenge this uh in particular, scout is to make sure we know what they're running and not get too bogged down in their individual plays, but make sure we can guard all the various screens that we're going to see because um, Keith Freeman does a great job on offense and they run about 25 different plays. So um, to make sure we, we know what we're doing there. Do they remind you of anybody you've played so far? Um, you know, they're a little different team than they were um, last year. You know, last year they, they all were shooting the three very, very consistently and this year they're not shooting the three quite as well. Um, I, I think they're shooting it a little better than we are, but um, I, I think that um, they've got three or four, five girls that can all play the three, four, and five positions. So I think that's going to create some matchup problems for us, um, a few things that we need to be ready for. Um, they're big, um, big, big lineup. So. I know Bucky went down over the weekend. How long do you think she'll be out, Coach? Um, the latest report I got uh, was actually at 2.15 uh, today from our trainer, Jeff Wills, who is doing a great job with all of our injured crew. Um, Bogey is, is looking at a week to two weeks right now. Um, it was just a sprain PCL. It sounds bad, but it's really not that bad, and a little bit of a back spasm that seems to be under control. Um, we got her to the doctor yesterday, and she's on some good medicine. So um, our game plan is to take it easy with her this week and, and let her body tell us when she's ready. Coach, I know you're you're trying to win the little battles, you know, during the game. But how does not having a win? How much does that wear on you guys as a coaching staff and just as a program with these guys? Yeah, I mean, we're all people just like you guys are, and everybody out there watching. I think that um, it, it wears on everybody. But I think how much and to what extent and in what way is all in your mind, you know, and, and what you set it out to be. Um, if you had asked me that question last year, you know, I probably wouldn't have the same mindset I have now. Um, I, I was able to take um, advantage of the fact that at least our injuries were early this year, and um, I still went, wanted to find a way to win despite you know the hand that we were dealt. And I think that's all we're trying to do right now, and that's all we're focused on. And I, I will not allow myself to focus on anything else and believe in anything else. You know, um, my job is to help this team win and um, to be positive and upbeat, and every day continue to make strides to get better. So um, that's my mindset. So if, if I'm doing a good job, then my staff and my team is also believing the same thing. And, and I think that they are. I sure hope they are. Can you talk about the way Brandy's played a freshman? She's the only one in the league that's going double-double almost every game, I believe. She's doing a great job. She's the only freshman for sure. So I, I you know, want to give a plug out for Brandy Brown. I, I really hope she's the freshman you know, newcomer of the year. Um, that would be a tremendous award, not just for her, but also for this team. Now, talk about a small victory. That would be a big victory for us, you know, to have someone earn an honor like that. So um, she's playing well. She, she's a phenomenal post player. Um, Bernard Scott, my assistant, was the one that spotted her first. And, um, and we put a full court press on her last year out in California. And, um, you know, we've got some connections out there now, which is nice. And um, we just hope that she's understanding also, just like all of our girls, the situation we're in, and that we are going to get better, we will improve, and she's going to have an outstanding four years here at Youngstown State. Could this, uh, I guess it's one of those kind of ethereal questions, could what has happened this year be a blessing in disguise for her? Because the chances are she wouldn't have played quite as many minutes and maybe developed as quickly. Have you thought about that? I guess that's a positive way to spin that there, Jim, <laughs> if we want to forget the other girls on the team for a second, which I don't like to do. Um, and Macy's standing in the back of the room smiling at me. But, um, you know, for Brandy, she's getting more minutes than she probably would. Honestly, I think she's playing a few more than, than you know, she and I discussed playing. And we'd love to have her right at 30 minutes a game. We think that'd be perfect where she could get a rest, you know, stay fresh, you know, be, be just as fresh as possible when she's out there on the court. Um, all of the girls are, are getting fatigued right now at this point, and um, we're doing the best of our ability to limit practice situations to make sure that we're the freshest on game day. You know, even if that means cutting down shooting time, cutting down practice time, um, yes, that affects us in other ways, but right now we need fresh legs. So, um, Brandy's a good player, Jim. <laughs> she is. Uh